Hey everyone and welcome back to Deception. This is the second video on machines. In the last video we did some theory on machines. Do watch it before watching this video and if you like it hit the thumbs up and share to the friends. So let's start. In this video we are going to solve some numerical based on machine. The first numerical is we have a lever right and the arrangement is something like this. We have to arrange we have to answer the following question. The first part is to which class of lever does it belong? So we can see that the fulcrum point lies in between load and effort. So it is the first class. Answer to A will be first class. We have to give one example. There are numerous examples. You can give any of them. It can be a seesaw, it can be crowbar, anything. Moving on to part B, number one, state the principle of moment applied to the above lever. So the principle of moment is load into load arm equal to effort into effort arm, right? That is moment of load in clockwise direction is equal to moment of effort, sorry, Moment of load in clockwise direction is equal to moment of effort in anti-clockwise direction. That is load into load arm equal to effort into effort arm. Then we need to calculate mechanical advantage if the data has been given over here. So we have load equal to 18 then we have effort. We do not have any effort. We have the effort arm and the load arm right. So AB, what is AB? AB is the whole length, so it is 2 meters, AB equals 2 meter, right? Then we have FA, what is FA? The distance of load from fulcrum, so what is that? That is the load arm, so load arm has been given as 20 centimeter, which equals 0 0.2 meter, right? So we need to calculate the effort arm, that is FE or EF, so EF will equal AB minus FA right that is 2 minus 0 0.2 that equals 1.8 meter so this is our effort arm right so mechanical advantage equals effort arm by load arm which is fa that is 1.8 by 0 0.2 that equals 9 right yes so mechanical advantage equals 9 and moving on Part C, calculate the effort needed to lift the load. So the effort needed to lift the load, we'll calculate it by the moment of principle of moments, right? That is load into load arm. So what is our load? Load equals 18 kgf into load arm. That is 0 0.2 equal to effort, let it be E. And what is effort arm? It is 1.8. So E equals 18 into 0 0.2 divided by 1.8. So this will cancel this 18, 18 cancelled that is 2. So the unit of load was kgf. So effort will be in kgf, right? Do not write it in Newton, right? It will have the same uh, unit as the load. Moving on to the second numerical, it is a uniform seesaw 5 meter long is supported at its center. A boy weighing 40 kg sits at a distance of 1 meter from the center of the seesaw. So let us draw the seesaw first. Let this be a seesaw. Okay. So it is, it is fixed at the center. Right. And it is 5 meter long. It is 5 meter long. Let this be AB. Now, a boy weighing 40 kgf sits at a distance of 1 meter from the center. So, if this is 5 meter, then this is 2.5 meter. So, let the boy sit over here somewhere. So, over here, a boy weighing 40 kgf. So, let the load be 40 kgf. And this distance is what? Is 1 meter as stated by the question. And let this point be C. Okay. Now, to which class of lever does it belong? So it is clear that the fulcrum is in between load and effort. So it belongs to the first class. That's clear, right? Moving on to the second part. It is find where a girl of weight 20 kgf. So this is the load we need to apply an effort, right? So it, it is given as 20 kgf. 
but the distance has not been given that is the effort arm we need to find the effort arm over here to balance the weight of the boy so let us have the numerical to solve this numerical we have to apply the principle of moment which is same load into load arm equal to effort into effort arm that is moment of load in the clockwise direction is equal to moment of effort <coughs> in the anti-clockwise direction we have got the value of load as 40 load arm as 1 we know effort equal to 20 and we need to find the effort arm right so effort arm will equal 40 by 20 that is equal to 2 meters right so the girl weighing 20 kg of must sit 2 meter away from the center on the other end to balance the weight of the boy already sitting up there. After doing two basic problems, let us move on to the third problem. It is a machine is driven by a 100 kilogram mass that falls 8 meter in 4 seconds. It lifts a load of mass 500 kilogram vertically upwards. Taking g is equal to 10 meter per second square, we have to calculate the following. The first one is the force exerted by the falling mass so force equals m into g the mass of the body is 100 kilogram and g has been allowed to take 10 so that is 1000 newton right work done work done by the body so work done equal to mass sorry force into displacement that is mg into d so force is 1000 newton and it has fallen through 8 meters so 8 that is work done equal to 8000 joule number 3 is power input so power input equal to work input by time taken or work done on the machine by time taken this is the work done on the machine and the time is 4 seconds so 8000 joule by 4 that equals 2000 watt this is the power input number 4 is power output if efficiency is equal to 60 percent right so efficiency equals power output by power input so we need to calculate power output which will equal efficiency into power input that equals 60 by 100 into power input is 2000 20 cancelled 26 is 12 20 watt 1200 watt moving on to part 5 work done by the machine power output equals work done by the machine that is work output by time taken so work output will be power output into time taken power output is 1200 watt into time is 4 seconds right so into 4 that equals 4800 and its unit will be joule moving on to the last numerical of this video we have a fire tongues has its arm 20 cm long. It is used to lift a coal of weight 1.5 kgf by applying an effort at a distance 15 cm from the fulcrum. So we need to find the mechanical advantage and the effort needed. So what do we have? A fire tongues. Let this be fire tongues. Okay. Yeah. So this is the point which is fixed right over here we apply the effort and over here is something load right that is this is the third class fine so we have a block of something like that over here so we need to find the mechanical advantage the data has been given its arm is 20 centimeter long so the whole length is 20 centimeter or you can think it as load arm equal to 20 centimeter and it is used to lift a load a coal of weight so load uh, has been given as 1.5 1.5 kgf is the load and uh, we need to, and the effort is applied at a distance 15 centimeter so effort arm has been given as 15 centimeter we need to find the mechanical advantage so mechanical advantage equals effort arm by load arm 
So effort arm is what? 15 centimeter and load arm is 20 centimeters. 5 3 is a 5 4 is a 7 is a 28 right then 2 that is 4 3 is a 4 5 is a 20 so 0 0.75 and moving on to the second part what is the effort needed okay so to find the effort we have got mechanical advantage we have load so we can write it as mechanical advantage equal to load by effort mechanical advantage is 0 0.75 load is 1.5 and we need to find effort so effort will be 1.5 by 0 0.75 so we know this will equal 2 and it was in load was in kgf so effort will also be in kgf right so with the end of this problem we end this video over here in the next video we'll be learning about pulley and its mechanism and further we'll solve numerical based on it till then stay tuned stay subscribed and do share to the friends